Naples officials have organized the city into zones. Those in the red zones must evacuate if the threat level rises high enough. Each of these neighborhoods is combined with another region in Italy, which will house people fleeing the disaster. Navigating Naples' chaotic traffic and clogged streets, it's hard to imagine how that could happen in practice. A geologist I spoke to during the trip suggested that, if there were warnings, it might be quicker to walk to safety than to try to drive. Later that day, I visited the observatory where geologists monitor Vesuvius and other volcanoes in Campania, 24 hours a day. Once located on the slopes of Vesuvius, this monitoring station now operates from an office block not far from the city center. But inside, it looks like a space mission control room, with multiple screens on two walls, showing seismology charts, maps and cameras focused on distant gas releases. It was here that I saw signs of a volcanic threat much greater than Vesuvius, which geologists are currently watching for. Outside the building, you might not know it exists, but here, on a giant screen, you can see evidence of its existence. A city map filled with clusters of colored dots. The tremors are caused by magma and gas moving deep underground, and in recent years have been frequently felt throughout Naples. Beneath the city and much of the bay is a huge caldera, a type of volcanic crater that collapsed after a powerful eruption thousands of years ago. It was called Campi Flegre, Flegrean Fields, and was 12 to 15 kilometers, 7.5 to 9.5 miles, wide. Unlike Vesuvius, this mountain has no visible cone so it is not seen every day, but with so many people living on it, it is considered one of the most dangerous in Europe. One eruption that occurred 39,000 years ago was so large that some of the material ended up in Siberia. It's hard to see the whole of Campi Flegre as it's too big to see unless you fly over the bay. But we stopped at one part, a place called Solfatara, where Mora showed me a steaming, sulfur-white landscape, like the surface of an alien world. This place used to be open to tourists attracted by the hydrothermal sights and smells, he explained, but several years ago it was closed when three family members fell into the crater there and experienced shortness of breath. Many people think that Solfatara is a volcano, but in fact it is only one part. Various other sites in the area are also part of Campi Flegre, from the Monte Nuovo hill where an eruption occurred in the 1500s, to the Grotta del Cane which was once a terrifying tourist attraction because of the dense volcanic CO2 collected on its floor. However, the widespread distribution of this volcanic effusion means it is unclear where future activity will occur. The eruptions migrate over time, so we will never know where, or when, of course the next eruption will occur, Morris said. And that of course makes Campi Flegre more dangerous than Vesuvius. <laughs>